it's yours truly, Joe Perry, the architect. Um, another edition of Barbershop Community Talk. You'll find us soon on KKLO 1014 Radio um, and simulcast on FM Radio. Um, this is an awesome opportunity because when you say youth, when you say anything about younger generations, what you should actually do is call them the future. Um, today we have business as unusual with Ms. Felicia Phillips. And uh, we are going to talk about her entrepreneurial experience. Hopefully you guys can gain some information, find direction in where you are choosing to go. And uh, man, let's make the future a beautiful place because it is your responsibility. So at the end of the day, Felicia, you went to Howard University. Yep. Graduated Howard University in international business. Meaning you're supposed to be jet setting all across the world, Billy. <laughs> okay. And something happened in your life. What happened first off that brought you to title boxing? Woo, that's a loaded question. I don't know what the next question. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. So let me take um, my hat off. <laughs> so I started off in Washington, D.C. While I was in Washington, D.C., I was working in IT consulting. Um, it was pretty much, I don't, I don't want to say my first big girl job, it was my second big girl job. Um, but after I got tired of my first one, then I decided to focus more on IT, got into that field, was working that for a little bit. And then from there, um, pretty much decided to make a move to the West Coast, you know, chasing the California dream. Okay. And so when I went over there, hoping, you know, I graduated with my master's in IT. Um, I had, you know, did everything that I was supposed to do, went to school, got the grades, graduated, right. was expecting that job to be sitting there waiting for me. Right. And, you know, to my surprise, it didn't work out that way. Not at all. <laughs> so I got out to California <laughs> thinking that, you know, I got a master's in IT. I graduated at the top of my class for, um, for my master's, so I shouldn't have any problems going through that. Right. That was not the case. I think I was out there for about, six to nine months um, looking for a job. Literally went on countless interviews and found absolutely nothing. I went all the way to final rounds of interviews. People tell me, oh, you did great. You know, you did a perfect match for this company. All the way to the point where they'd be like, nope, you went with somebody else. So at that point, I was just tired of putting my fate and determining who's gonna write my paycheck for my, you know, my life and pretty much what I wanna do for myself. So I didn't think that me working for somebody else was something that I wanted to do long term. So right. when people say, oh, you know, find you a nice company to work for, put in a good 30, 35 years, and then, you know, retire with your pension. Um, when I hear anybody working five, 10 years for a company, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. I'll say for a more, I guess that's a generational thing. Yeah. I'll say that. Uh, but once, uh, while I was out there in well, California... Hold on one second. You said something very important, and I want to take the time to let our viewers really hear this. Um, I do a lot of research because Barbershop Community Talk Next Generation Radio gives you guys an opportunity to take what you have been handed, mm -hmm. get the dialogue from generations like me. I'm older than you are, you right. know, and like you said, maybe it's a generational thing. But I hear that a lot. I hear and I know that now everybody is pushed toward a master's. Everybody. So the the, the, the pawn, the fish, yeah. you know what I mean? Or a lot of them, even if they're not bigger, there's a lot more fish out there. Yes. And so with that understanding, I've heard from a lot of people in your generation that that's not, that's an old way of thinking. Yes, for people who are built that way mm -hmm. and who actually get that, great. However, the rigmarole of going through and the failed interviews or the jobs that don't turn out to be everything that they promised you would be or the things that you have to encounter while you're on these in these career choices right. you see what i mean um have kind of shifted the paradigm where your generation is looking to really use your talents to get exactly what you want exactly okay so how did that end you at the title <laughs> so um after being out in California for several months looking for a job, didn't pan out. Uh, it got to the point where funds started getting a little short. I didn't have enough money to pretty much provide for myself. When the when money get there. low and the hungriness yeah, shows. Yeah, it was getting real. The struggle was real. So um, 
at that point, I decided to go ahead and come back home. And my my thought, when I thought of coming home, I really dreaded it. I didn't want to come home because I didn't feel that I had accomplished. It's like, yeah, yeah right. Coming home was just like, you failed. Prodigal son, right? You failed, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so when I came back, I'm Or like, daughter, sorry. Prodigal person. <laughs> there we go. I got you, I got you. I know. So, That's when they escape all the massages and all that. You know? <laughs> But I returned, kind of, I was a little defeated, um, expecting things to, you know, like I said, I, they, the, I guess I want to say the generation before us sold his dreams thinking that, you know, you go to school, get a job, you get, get a, a job, trade. you get a trade, you find a family, you know, find a one, you get married, have kids, retire, and then life right. is good, but that one, the economy isn't set up that way for us anymore. That the way the economy is, we can't we can't live that life. That life doesn't exist for us anymore. That's not a reality for us. So, trying the to paradigm has changed. Oh yeah, the rules have changed. The rules have changed. All right, here's the thing. Um, we're gonna be back after this brief break for our sponsors. Um, I want to thank Title Boxing real quick for allowing us to be on set and do this episode of Barbershop Community Talk Next Generation Radio. I want to make sure you guys stay posted to the Barbershop Community Talk Next Gen Radio page on Facebook. Um, when we come back, we're going to find out with Ms. what Miss Felicia Phillips did um, to get her where she wants to be. You're the best. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.